Adobe just released a new Photoshop beta version and it contains game-changing AI features. This will completely be a new way of editing your images and photos. So if you are a photographer, graphic designer, creator, you absolutely have to watch this video because I will show you the four really game-changing features of Photoshop beta. But before we dig into this, please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button to not miss any of my upcoming videos. Everybody's talking about AI and uh, also I was one of the guys that thought this was again a hype like 3D and other stuff that we saw in the past years, but it's not. I'm a professional photographer and digging into those AI tools and it's really a game changer. And I can show you by practical examples why this is the case. There are basically two main new things that are happening with AI imaging. The first one is that you're now able to create images out of a simple prompted text. So no need to go out to take a real picture, no need to spend thousands of dollars on cameras, lenses, so tripods and flashes or whatever. You don't even have to spend a lot of money on models. You can simply use one of those new AI tools to prompt a text that will generate an image. Just recently I created an image that did go viral on Instagram and I explained in this video how you can do it for yourself, what are the steps to create an image and so if you're interested into this part please watch this video. The second revolution is that now you can modify your real photos and images using AI tools and this is what's happening on the new Photoshop beta and there are four game-changing features that I'm going to explain you right now. The first AI feature on the new Photoshop beta version is named Generate Objects. In this case you simply select a certain area of the image and then you text the change you want to have on this piece of image. Let's start with an example. You see a gorgeous female bartender here and we want her to have blonde hair so we select the area around her face. You don't have to be exact because Photoshop will recognize what the, where the hair is and will replace only the hair. So here you have to fill in your prompt, your command to ask Photoshop to generate a variation of that image. Let's write blonde hair. Click on generate and it will take about 10 seconds for Photoshop to generate three sample images using your prompt. It will also add those three images as a new layer and now you have the first sample here where you see the blonde hair. You have three options. Let's see the second one or the third one. I like this third one and I'm really impressed by the job done by Photoshop here because I can see no artifacts, no strange things. It kept the background behind the hair. The face still looks perfect and the blonde hair is really natural. So I'm amazed by the potential of this feature. I think by now only after this one example you're already amazed by this because you will understand if you're a photographer, creator or graphic designer that this will change your workflow forever. Because from now on you can simply and quickly change every image or photo you have, make it more interesting than the original by adding elements that you think will add value to the uh, way to the thing that you want to communicate. And this was only the first of the four new amazing AI features on Photoshop beta. The second one is generate backgrounds. Let's see how it works. This is a real photo I took 10 years ago in Brazil and I want to change the background of this image. You have to go on select subject and Photoshop will automatically select the two people on this image. But now I want to select the background so I go on select inverse and now I want to have a concrete wall behind the two girls. I go here and I write concrete wall. As usual Photoshop will generate three sample versions so that I can see what's working best. If I don't like any of those three samples I just keep generating new samples. I generated multiple samples and this one is the one I liked most. It really is nearly perfect. The shadows on the concrete wall are also very nice. Of course if you want it to have it more perfect it's best if you do manual masking to really uh, also remove some of the artifacts 
to see here, but the point of this video is just to show you quickly what's the potential of this tool. And I think it's amazing what you can do. Now let's move on to the third new AI feature that is named Extend Image. I have here an image of a Sony camera on the beach and it's a 5 to 1 uh, aspect ratio, but I want to have a 1 to 1 aspect ratio for my Instagram account. So how do you proceed? You simply go on image canvas size and make it square. So let's start from the sky. You have to select the area on top of the camera, but it's very important you include a piece of the original image because AI will use it as a reference to extend the image. And now as a text prompt, I will only write sky to see how it works with a simple prompt. And those are the three samples Photoshop generated. They are quite okay. This one isn't really great. It, the light is really off. And this also isn't really perfect, but you can keep generating new variation. Let, let's now try to give Photoshop a bit of more detailed description of the sky I want. Cloudy sky at sunset i think when this one really looks great so i will choose this one and now let's add some sandy beach at the bottom so we select the area here and write sandy beach and i'm really impressed by the job done now by photoshop because it really looks very natural the light is okay the out of focus blur bar is very amazingly done. I'm super, I super like this bottom part more than the sky actually. Let's see a couple of more samples here. They all look great. Of course you can be now very creative. For example, if I want to add a single crap on the sandy beach, I can write this. Let's do this. Sandy beach with single crap. I think this one looks okay for me. So I will now save this image. And now let's move on to the fourth and last new AI feature on Photoshop Beta. This one is named Remove Objects. It is really easy to use. Let's start with this image. It's an image I took a couple of days ago at Lake Garda. In this image you see a boat with a boy and many birds on the image and I want to remove them all. So I will use that new AI tools to do that. You have to simply select the area where you want to have the elements removed and instead of writing something here you just keep it empty you click on generate and photoshop will remove all elements within that frame so now everything is gone on the left part of the image now let's also remove this one click again on generate keep it keep the field empty and so now I have my perfect image of my boat at Lake Garda without the distracting elements around. So that was the quick introduction to the four new AI features that you will find on Photoshop AI. And I think that you will surely appreciate the potential of all those tools. I am also sure that you realize by now that this will indeed change your editing workflow forever. And I have to be honest, as a photographer, creator and artist, at first I was very upset when I started to use those tools because I understood that from now on, every image you will see on the web is likely to be AI modified. And uh, it did upset me that we are moving so much away from the original idea of photography. But I also think that's inevitable. So the only choice now is to drop everything and you live in a cave or you learn it. You start to appreciate the positive aspects of this because there are certainly new creative potentials within this tool. So for example, you can mix your real photo and add some creative AI elements to convey a new kind of message that you wouldn't have been able to create before. So there are also kind, some kind of images I created that I couldn't create before as a normal photographer. And I think that will be the direction I will focus on, on mixing my real photography skills with my newly learned AI skills. And I think you should not be worried about what's coming next. You only have to take the positive aspects of this 
and to try to create some new kind of art. I still think that normal photography will survive and maybe there will be a comeback of film so that you will always have a proof of the uh, chemical proof that your photo is not modified original and maybe you know like vinyl for the music industry film photography will have a sort of revival. I'm still using for example the Pentax here and also the Mamiya 7 cameras for my film photography and I'm very happy with it. This is the future, you saw it on those examples, so please again like this video, subscribe and I see you soon for my next video.